Fortnite has now brought us support for DirectX 12. I'm going to go through and show you how to set it up and explain a little bit about it. First of all, what it does is it enhances the performance of Fortnite. So if you are having problems with performance on Fortnite, if you're experiencing a drop frames, high CPU usage, your computer running hot or always on full blast and you want to calm it down, you can try this. Keep in mind this is in beta for Fortnite, but they have released it to the public. Also, I think the whole game's still in beta, isn't it? <laughs> With that said, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set it up. But before we do, it doesn't support every graphic card, but it supports a lot of them. So why don't I put a list right here to show you exactly what's supported so you know. If your graphics card's on that list, then this will work for you. It's up to you if you want to try it. If you do have DirectX 12, I would say give it a shot. If for some reason it doesn't work, what I would do is just go back to 11. That easy. We're gonna go ahead and show you how to set it up and let's go ahead and just do it right now. So in Fortnite, all we gotta do is go to these three dots here. Go ahead and choose settings. And now that we're in settings, let's go ahead and scroll down. And here you will see DirectX version. And it's currently set to DirectX 11. So let's go ahead and choose the next one. Once you do, it says, please restart the game for changes to render API to take effect. We'll go ahead and hit confirm. Apply. And let's go ahead and exit. Now let's go ahead and open it and see if it automatically prompts us to set up DirectX 12 or I may already have it. I'm just kind of curious or if we're supposed to download it ourselves. This is my first time running it because I didn't want to miss it if it does go ahead and show us to download it. All right, so it looks like I'm getting a graphics error with this. So let's go ahead. What I'm going to do is I'm going to update my graphics card drivers. I've already done videos on that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll be back. I now have my drivers up to date. So I'm all set. If you need it, you just go to download DirectX for Windows. You can just Google it. There's a bunch of places that supply it. Hit free download and then run. It is free software and it will help run better for your Windows. So once you get that set and you run it, it may have you reboot the computer. After that, you're ready to go into Fortnite. So let's go back in. Awesome. Now we are back into Fortnite and everything looks good. Let's go ahead and just make sure the settings stayed. We're just going to go back and check it here and it is set to DirectX 12 beta. So now we'll be running on DirectX 12. I'll give it a shot and see how it goes with the performance. But a lot of times moving to 12 is a very smart decision because it is a lot better and performance wise than 11. So I'm glad that Fortnite has added this. I think since they reworked the game in chapter two, they decided to up the stakes with smoother software so we'll have less problems. Introducing DirectX 12 was an amazing idea. Going forward, they'll get more and more features off of this and the game will just run smoother and smoother. And I'm all set. I'm all set for 12 and if you followed along, you're all set too. I hope this does give you better performance, better frames, smoother runs in your game, no stutters it should really help out all around with your computer because your computer will have to work not as hard to produce what it was already doing now you're all set and you're running smooth so i hope that helped i do have some other videos you can check them out here i really recommend them they will help run even smoother with no ping and with that said i'll see you over there